Good morning, Modern Statters. It's gonna be a beautiful day today. I just wanted to take a minute and share some of the things I love about waking up on our homestead. This pig's just lazy and likes to rest while she eats, or if she wants to make sure lynx don't get any of the food. But sausage loves sitting on the automatic feeder. What are you doing, Figaro? Third, I'll be nice. Now I know a lot of people think of farming as like drudgery, hard work, oh I gotta go do my chores and this and that. For me, I look forward to going out and doing my morning chores. Not every day, I will say that. But it's time for me to go out, reconnect with the land, reconnect with the creator, just see what's going on, and it just fills me with joy and just refreshes me every morning. And I just look forward to that part, and I don't look at it as a chore or a drudgery. It's more of recharging. This is always the fun part, trying to get the stuff together. What do you think you're doing? I hope you didn't poop in there. Man! That would not be good. Oh, I'm not seeing any chicken poop.
course, there's got to be a knot right where I need to go. Be able to see your goats right from here nicely. I want it. Oh, we can't. Well, there we go. We'll have to put the uh, kitchen table right here. Yeah, we will. Good idea. Anyways, <laughs> people want to know if you're a vegan because you don't eat sausage. Breakfast sandwiches. No. What? <laughs> no, we don't. We don't. I need pork and steak and ham. We just don't care for breakfast. It's big like this. She was just eating a meat stick when I came in. She'd be hungry if she was a vegan here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very hungry. Yeah. It's like super good. I don't know what I think it's the cheese. Let me try it, buddy. It's kind of hot. Do you want ketchup or not ketchup? I like to put a little. Mm-hmm. 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 Supposed to give her any because it's said, Oh, this is not a good sandwich. Oh, it's so awful. You don't want to try this. Oh, you ruin it every time you dunk it in ketchup. Just a little ketchup. Yeah. Just a little. Olivia got the goat to treat and once you get Figaro. What do you think about that? What do you think about it? <laughs> so we ran to the feed store to get some stuff for the goats and some bedding. I think Jeannie's gonna be mad. Probably not gonna like the mess that this leaves behind. Lesson learnt. Mom, come look at this. <laughs> you don't want to see it. You don't. Oh my god! <laughs> this has happened one time in my teeth. It never came out. <laughs> We got our mineral feeder, oops, and we picked up a set of hoof trimmers. We ended up getting some chaff hay, or chaff hay. However you say that, I'm not sure. That's supposed to be really healthy for the goats, and I love that it's... Thank you for picking up my mess, you did a good job. <laughs> I know you had so much fun. Everybody wants to know what this yellow thing is. This is a top bar beehive we built a few years back when we were still living in Massachusetts. We had bees in it for one season and then they didn't make it through the winter. But we have it all made. We have a little bit of honeycomb in it from the, that the bees built. And at some point we need to get some more bees for it. 
It's Olivia's hive. We made a little window in it so she could watch the bees building their honeycomb and making their honey, which is pretty cool. I don't know if you can see in there at all. But some year we'll get some more bees. When it comes to bees, we keep saying next year we'll do it. We got too much stuff going on. We wanted to do it this year. This year we're getting the goats and we're building all the goat stuff. So we were preoccupied. We don't have time for the bees this season and we know it, which is a good thing. So hopefully next year we can get some bees. Being in Northern New Hampshire in growing zone 4B, we have a really short season and when it begins, it's kind of like boom, hands on deck. We go from winter to spring to summer like that. So we just gotta get stuff going so fast. We can only do so much at once, but hopefully next year. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys right back here tomorrow. Bye.